the runners are off. Can we agree that our probably three, if we had three co-favorites, Steve, would we say that, would no, we we say probably, that they we are? We probably can't agree before you continue. Footsum, okay. Tyler Byrne, and James Martin would be our three co-favorites heading in. Would you be surprised if someone besides one of those three won? I'm willing to say that I am. I, I would be surprised. I, mean, I, I think that counting out uh, Mascari would be a, I mean, he, he won indoors. Right. And he has beaten Footsum. Correct. I mean, to say that you would be surprised, I mean, I guess not enough people have hopped on his bandwagon, but he's done nothing but win, win, win. Correct. I'm one that hasn't completely hopped on bandwagon, but I think he will be in contention. Chris Walden, I wouldn't be absolutely shocked. I, you know what? I'm done being shocked by Chris Walden when he went <laughs> flying around those guys that we claimed had the best kicks in the world. Your early leader here is Andrew McLean of Homestead. James Martin right there as well. We're going to see how quickly these guys want to get out. And 65. 65, 66 for the pack. You know, not blazingly fast. If you if you want to run nine minutes, and a lot of guys try and get, talk, talk about approaching that nine-minute bear, if you want to run nine minutes, you've got to run 67.5 for eight straight laps. So going out in 66 seconds, not shocking. If they would have came through in 61 or 62, I think we'd be surprised. Right. Uh, Gabe Ocasio. And now Gabe Ocasio, in, <laughs> Gabe Ocasio in half tights. I have, and I, I have been around Gabe Ocasio for many years, and I have told him that if you wear half tights, you have to make sure you win the race because if you lose wearing half tights, you're going to get made fun of. So we're <laughs> going to see if he's able to hang on or if I'm going to make fun of Gabe in about 15 minutes here. Gabe has taken over the lead. They came through three quarters in about three minutes and 25 seconds or thereabouts. Looks like it's Gabe Ocasio and then... James Martin. James Martin of Fort Alejandro, Wayne Carroll. Oaks of Huntington North. Oaks and or Graham, Evergreen, one or yes. the other. We've come to, sometimes we can identify runners, and as now Martin takes over the lead, we can identify runners by what jersey they have, but if there's two of them from the same school, the hip numbers have proven to be very unreliable here over the week. 404 through 1,400 meters. And the 3200 is kind of a race where you're just going to bide your time for the first four or five or even six laps. Um, so runners jockeying for position. You don't want to lose contact. You want to stay in the mix. You want to conserve as much energy as possible. And I believe in second, is this David Osborne? In second, we have Oaks. Oaks is in second. Okay. okay. Then Alejandro. Okay, here we go. Then Gabe. James Martin. That's Overway. That's Overway in second. Okay, That's James Kyle Martin, Overway. Kyle Overway, Arroyo. Those are your top three. Through the mile in 439, shockingly slow, Steve. 439 extrapolated out. That's another word of the day. 439, if you double it, is only a 918 two mile. Many of these guys came in with faster seed times than 918. So at some point, we're going to see someone drop the hammer. Who's going to win and who's going to end up with the medals is going to depend on how these guys cover this move. But 439, about 10 seconds slower than I predicted it would have gone. Well, on. it's kind of interesting. I believe we see Tyler Byrne moving up there right now. He just moved into third. He's moving up. Footsom's still kind of just chilling back a little bit, starting to move up a little bit. Mascari just sitting back still. A lot right. of the pre-race favorites. Yeah, two, two guys we haven't even talked about yet. I incorrectly called James Martin Tyler Byrne. But besides that, we haven't talked about Byrne until now. Byrne's moving his way up. We haven't even mentioned Footsom Zenith Selassie, the defending state champion in this event and the cross-country state champion. But it, it seems to me, Steve, that the pace is actually slowing and we're kind of crawling here. <laughs> Nobody wants to be the first and one to make that move. And there's some pushing. We have some pushing. We're five there. laps into it. And here goes Jace Lowry of Martinsville. Jay Slowry gives a little push. Jay Slowry, I'm sorry. Opening. Mascari is starting to move his way. Just a huge pack, but through about 550 through five laps there. That was a 70-second quarter mile, Steve. <laughs> no, that's not right. Yeah, maybe it is. I can teach Spanish and social studies, so not math. So Jay Slowry, your leader, now, Alejandro you Arroyo right there. Sorry to cut you off, Steve. No, you're good. Thank you. Huh, forgiven. So your top three now on the back stretch, still a huge pack. Footsum Zenislasi still in the mix. James Martin still in the mix. Tyler Burns there. Mascari still there. Uh, but your top three is Lowry, Arroyo, and... Do we know what happened to Treshawn? Because that's a big move. Treshawn is, uh, yeah, he's a little bit in the back, making a move, trying to, but he has been gapped. I don't okay. think he's going to score points here. But coming now with 800 meters to go, we're going to see a fast last 800. We might want to get a watch on this. And you, looks, is this Walden coming up to the lead now here, Steve? 
Ullman, I'm sorry. It's Ullman. Ullman of Carmel now taking the lead, but it's Arroyo with a half step on him. Arroyo, Ullman, Lowry, Martin of Westfield. Futsum Zeneslaus, he's still in the mix. 100. Tyler Byrne right there as well. James Martin in it, 7.02 with 800 meters to go. So we're going to need to see a 158 close to see that sub nine people have been predicting. Who's leading? Who's leading? Okay, we still have Ullman starting to stretch out okay. the race. We have yeah. Royal still holding on very, very tightly. I believe that's Tyler Byrne. We've decided in third. Then Lowry, Zenslasi, Martin, it, it. Walden. Yeah, Scary. Just a long string of athletes. Kind of your right best guys are right there, and I said someone's gonna make a move, and you guys are gonna have to find a way to cover it. Ullman starting to make a move now. 600 meters to go, but not a huge one. Took the lead, you know, kicked the pace down very little bit, but no touching up here. Ullman, 500 meters to go. Arroyo right there. Run. He was not a guy that we talked about, even as a medal favorite heading into this, running very well. And I believe this is. <laughs> Tyler very, Byrne very now. Consistent. Yes. Tyler Byrne Tyler coming up. Here comes game. Byrne. Put some Zenith slices right there. These are our two guys right now pulling away from the field. Two pre-race favorites. 807 with one lap to go. It's Byrne. Put some Zenith Selassie. Ullman in third. Arroyo on his heels. Arroyo now moved into third. It's going to be hard for Footsum to pull in Byrne. But these are your two leaders on the back stretch. What do you think here, Steve? Who has the superior foot speed? Uh, I mean, well. <laughs> You're giving a lot of guys a shot here. I mean, while Tyler Tyler Byrne has to be the favorite, obviously, out here in front, but you've got some guys like Jay Slavery might be able to do something here. Mascara is going to be trying to come. Connor Martin has a shot still. Depending on what happens, Tyler Byrne should be able to pull away. Yep. And if Footsum's going with the opposite strategy that all of us would have expected. And here comes Footsum, 150 meters to go. Can Tyler Byrne do it? Can he win a state championship? Footsum now moving on to his outside, 100 meters to go. The crowd's going wild. It's Byrne and Footsum, neck and neck down the stretch. A little bit of jostling as we come. Footsum's got a slight half-step lead. And Footsum Zenith looks as if he is going to win another state title. His second. Footsum is going to close this last lap in 50 Seven, 58 seconds. Footsum Zenil Saucy, 905. Tyler Byrne in second. Alejandro Arroyo, a fantastic race for four. Third. Marcus Worth here with the 3200 state champion from North Central. Footsum Zenil Zalasi. Uh, Footsum, tell me what you did different from uh, last year to this year. Well, this year I I lost two times. I I, I they got kicked me. They kicked me the last two, the last hundred. And this year was just really difficult for me to to improve it because everybody they got better and they was ready with, like to stay behind me and kick the last hundred so I've been working so hard for to, to sprint like so I've been working hard on the 200 hundreds working out and I was just I was ready I'm like my coach my family they they wasn't they wasn't happy with the plan you know I told them you know what I might wait with them and improve it and they wasn't happy but I just told myself you know what I'm Am I going to lose or am I win? I'm like, God, no. So I just went out there and waited to the last 200, you know. So I I was the last 200 and turned out really good. Now, most of the race, you were kind of in the middle of the pack, slowly worked your way up there. Mm -hmm. Was that kind of your strategy? Yes, my strategy was to, like, to stay on, like, four guy, you know, like having three people in front of you and stay with them. But it was a lot of people, like some people, they go out and they slow down. So it wasn't, it wasn't like the my plan, but... It was it was okay too because I was in the back the whole time. That's that's kind of that was my plan, you know, to just stay in the behind. But not, it was a lot of a lot of pushes, but it turned out really good. It was okay. About halfway through the race, looks like there's a little bit of a bump. How did you recover from that? Well, I I just I told myself, you know what, this is just it happened like this. So I I have to a little bit speed out and slow down, speed out. But it was it was fine, you know. Turned out really good. Now there in that final lap, guy, uh, the guy in front of you took a final kick. Did you think he he took that a little earlier or a little too early, or did you think you you would catch him? Well, no, it was I. I look back. I, I don't know. You, you might go, you might see it on the video, but I look back. I kind of I kind of gave up, but and I tell myself, you know, I I just have to run until I die. So I kind of pick it up, and I guess that was his last. You know, he was sprinting as best as he can, and. It was, it was okay for me to the last 100. You know, he was tired. You know, he was dying. All right, congratulations. Best of luck next year. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. You. Appreciate it.